All right, moving forward, a uh, quick note on the C tube. <laughs> All right, moving forward uh, to the C-tube. Uh, C-tube angle on the bike varies by... S <laughs> the same goes for the head tube as well. It's gonna be about 70... Crap. All right. Hey Niners, uh, welcome to another edition of Inside the Nine. Today we are here with the top end carbon gravel bike in the Niner lineup, the Niner RLT9 RDO. Let's get started. The RLT9 RDO is our top end carbon gravel bike. RLT being road less traveled, uh, uses our RDO or race day optimized carbon layup. So uh, basically, again, we tried to optimize the carbon for this bike as far as comfort, stability, handling, and weight. Uh, so we think you get the best uh, of all of those worlds with this, this bike. Starting in the rear of the bike, uh, we use a 12 by 142 through axle standard as well as flat mount caliper mounting. Uh, so again, sort of industry standards for brakes and wheels, you can swap between 700C and 650B. With the 700C wheels, you're gonna have a max tire clearance of about 50C depending upon tire manufacturer. Moving forward, We've got rack and fender mounts for the rear, as well as bottle cage mounts for full-size bottles in the main triangle. We've also got uh, frame bag mounts on the inside of the triangle, bento box mount for the top tube. So each bike is compatible with our Niner branded frame bags. Uh, there's plenty of different size options. So depending upon what size you get, you can check the website. We should have all of them available there. Uh, and just, uh, they're really versatile, plenty of storage, plenty of mounting options. So great for long days in the saddle. If you want to pack something extra, this is our carbon gravel fork. It comes on all of our frames. Uh, and the one thing that's common across the board, minus the fact that it's carbon, is it does have mounting points for racks and fenders. So if you live somewhere that's wet and you wanna throw your fenders on, that's great. Or if you wanna mount it up with extra water, sleeping bag, extra food, whatever the case may be, depending upon what kind of riding you're gonna be doing, we have all of those features on there for you. Uh, the brake mount is a flat mount style. So again, compatible with any brake calipers from most major manufacturers and the through axle is 12 by 100. So again, if you wanna throw a 650B wheel in there or you have your 700C wheels that you love, it is interchangeable as long as it's that standard and that is the common current standard for the industry. So to finish it off, this is actually a new color for Niner this year. So this is our Oxblood fade to black. Um, our senior graphic designer has been playing around with tons of colors this year and the red we think is just beautiful. It's, it's super, for subtle, but at the same time, the red kind of hits a little bit different. So it's it's a really nice mix of like a wild color, but it's not so wild that you can't stand to be seen throwing a leg over it. Uh, you'll still be able to get away with it on those group rides or whatever you want uh, without feeling too embarrassed. We do have another color as well, which is called Glacier. That's gonna be a little bit lighter, sort of a blue mixed with some grays in there. It's pretty cool as well. You'll wanna check that one out on the website. Uh, as far as the angles are concerned, the head tube angle is going to be somewhere in the early 70s. The head angle does change depending upon the size of the bike. So be sure and check the website for the geometry specs. The C tube angle is going to be from the early 70s to the sort of mid 70s. So about 72 and a half degrees to 74 and a half degrees. Again, depending upon the size. Uh, that's going to be it for today on the Niner RLT9 RDO. Uh, again, please always check the website for availability and build kits and uh, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Niner Bikes, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.